All right, so this guy, is he taking a poop? He looks like he's sitting down taking a poop on the toilet right now, but I think he's sitting in his living room. So I hope he's not sitting in his living room and taking a poop, or else that would be yucky. What is going on, everybody? I am Brandon, aka The Frustrated Gamer, and welcome back to Thief Simulator. So you guys all seem to love part one, and you asked me to play it again, and I loved playing part one. So if you didn't miss that video, I will post the link in the top right corner of your screen. We basically learned how to be a thief. So we learned how to sneak past people. We learned how to use our crowbar to break windows and get in places. We stole cash. We stole TVs. We got away. I think we sold things in pawn shops and we had a good time. So I am going to jump right in. I think now we are on our next mission, which is to like break plates or something like that. I forget exactly which house we have to go to, but we have to basically break in break their plates and leave. I don't know why Vinny has us doing that. It's basically just a test, but we're going to risk going to jail so we can break some plates. Also, on top of that, I mentioned this in the first part. I love the loading screens in this game. Like, if you look at the bottom of your screen right now, wait for it. There it is. You just see, like, this little guy sneaking around. He's, like, some sort of a criminal. I find it hilarious. All right, so this is kind of our little hideout area slash bed where we sleep. I don't know. They can afford this beautiful computer, but not a bed. I don't know. I won't ask questions. I think if we go in here... I think <laughs> you got toolsforthieves.com. You got blackbay.com, which is like an eBay where you can sell things online to criminals. You got steal your forums, and then you got rent a thug. So this is where, what do we have to do? Break dishes at 110. So we're going to the baker's house. All right. So let's go down to our car and let's go to 110. What is it? Greenview Avenue. All right. So they left us off here. I think I'm looking at the map in the bottom left corner of your screen for 110. All right, I think if we... Oh, no. That's not where I want to go. I'm not good at driving in this game, guys. I pride myself in real life. I think I'm a decent driver in real life. But if you guys have ever seen my Brick Rigs videos or if you've ever seen this video, I am awful at driving in any video game. It's, it's just embarrassing at times. All right, so we're going to 110, which I believe is this one. And we just have to break dishes. I don't think anyone's home, right? This is... We've been in this house before. Can I, can I go in the door or no? No, I still need lockpicking level one. I still, I don't know how to get lockpicking level one, but eventually we'll learn. All right, so we're in the house. The door, the window was left wide open. I guess it was from last time we broke in here. Clearly, this is an abandoned house. So what do we have to do? We just have to break dishes? Uh, well, we might as well steal some stuff while we're here. Let's see, what can we get? We could get, we got a tea kettle, we got a pot. I thought we stole this pan already. All right, I guess it's like a regenerating pan. Uh, let's see, what's in here? Nothing there. Come on, there's got to be something. Oh! Was that a door that just closed behind me? I don't think someone's in here, right? I definitely scoped it out a little bit when we went in. Hey, cash! 15 bucks, not bad. And is there anything in here? No, just... Is that milk? Okay, wait a second. Who sits in the tub while drinking milk? I don't know, maybe that's not milk. Okay, whatever. Alright, let's break these plates. I think we could pull out our crowbar with tab. Whoops. Wait, I had it. I had it. There we go, okay. Here! Yeah. Oh, and right on time, Vinny calls me. I think Vinny has, like, some secret camera in the corner of all these houses. And then the second I do what he wants me to do, he calls me right away. I just heard you don't even know how to pick a lock. <laughs> Go learn the basics. I'm sure you've got enough skill by now. Okay, I'm not 100% sure how to learn how to pick a lock. I don't know how to pick a lock in real life, and I don't know how to pick a lock in this game. But I have a feeling we'll learn in this game. So I'm thinking we have to go back to our main hideout area. Let me actually put this crowbar away. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I break into a house just to break plates and then I get caught. That would just be, that'd be great. All right. So let's go back to, we're going to go back to our hideout. Actually, no, no. We're going to go to the pawn shop first. We're going to sell all the little goodies that we stole. And then we're going to go back to our house and hopefully learn how to pick a lock. All right, so I guess I'm getting graded on my... What? Level up. Remember to use any unused skill points in the skills tab. How do I get skills points? Skills tab? Oh! Is this how I... Oh, so I don't have to go back to our hideout. Learn? Hey! Okay, so now I know how to pick a lock. Okay, that was easier than I thought. I thought I was going to have to go back and learn it somehow. Oh, and Vinny's calling me right on time. Great. Now... Go buy yourself a DIY simple lockpick on Tools for Thieves. <laughs> Tools for Thieves, my favorite website behind Black Bay. Okay, so we're actually going to sell this. Then we're going to go back to our hideout and get the DIY oh, toolkit set. Or lockpicking set, I guess it is. All right, we're going to sell this. $8, not bad. The tea kettle's 8 bucks. Wow, and the, and the pot was 8 bucks. Whoa, we got four. 
I thought we just stole, I thought we just stole three things. Maybe we had something left over from last video. All right, cool. So we made uh, 8, 16, 24, $32. And we stole 15 bucks. Don't make me do 32 plus 15. I think it's 47. I don't know if I'm right or wrong there. All right, we're going to go back to our hideout now. And we're going to learn how to pick a lock. All right, sweet. So we have to go, what did he say? Tools for thieves? I think that's what it was, right? Uh, yes, tools for thieves, DIY, simple lock, buy. All right, cool. So I got the lock picking set, and Vinny's calling me. Before you get yourself into trouble, try it on a training lock. I left one in the garage. Oh, thank you, Vinny. That was very kind of you. Ah, it's right down here. Okay, okay. So this is going to teach me how to pick a lock in this game, I suppose. Uh, what do I do? Uh, you need to find the right angle with the bobby pin and then rotate the lock. The closer the pin gets to the correct angle, the more the lock will rotate. Okay, so I try to rotate it with Wazda. Is that it? Wait. Did I break it? I think I broke my lock pick. Wait, wait. There we go. Okay, sweet. You did a good job on that old TV in the empty house. For a real job, you gotta scope the joint. Go to 111 by 7 a.m. and watch. So now I gotta scope the joint. So we're going to 111 by 7 a.m. What time? Or 7? Yeah, 7 a.m. And it's only 2 p.m. All right, so I'm actually gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna get a little bit of rest. And I'm gonna sleep until, let's go 6 a.m. That gives us an hour to drive our car to 111. All right, so let's go 6 a.m. This is gonna be a real long night's sleep. I'm sleeping from like 3 p.m. to 6 in the morning. All right, perfect. So now let's get up. Let's get in our car. We're going to go to 111 Greenview. I have a feeling whatever we do for this house, we're going to have to pick a lock. That's just a, a wild guess that I have. All right, we're going to go back to our spot. I like this spot. It kind of gives us a nice, easy getaway. Ugh. Hello, sir. Ooh, I don't want to hit... <laughs> I don't want to hit a pedestrian on my way to robbing a house. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, not, not the prettiest of parking jobs, but it should work. So this is 109, this is 110, here's 111. Ooh, we haven't been to 111 yet. Uh, what are we supposed to do? Go up here? Okay. So are we scoping the joint? I'm scoping, 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 scoping. How do I scope? What does it say? Go to the mouse view, 111 around 7 a.m. Mark the tenant, mouse 3. Mark the tenant? How do I mark them? Mouse? Oh! Oh, that worked. Okay, so I just have to click on the little, like, wheel on my mouse to mark them. Vinny! There's a box in there. Wait for them to leave and get me that box. Okay. I love Vinny's voice. I think it's absolutely hilarious. There's a box in there. Wait for them to leave and get me that box. So I don't know what's in that box. I don't know how Vinny knows what's in that box. Sometimes I think Vinny has me on like a wild goose chase. I think this is all set up just to test to see if I could be a good criminal. Like I think he's working with whoever this son of a nutcracker is. And I think they put that box in there to see if I can rob it. Alright, so this guy, is he taking a poop? He looks like he's sitting down taking a poop on the toilet right now, but I think he's sitting in his living room. So I hope he's not sitting in his living room and taking a poop, or else that would be yucky. So I have to wait for him to leave, and then I have to get in there, steal the box, and get out. Well, I've been waiting here forever. It's 8.07 now. It's been over an hour. Oh! Is he doing something? Is he getting up and leaving? Maybe for work? Does this man not have to work? Is it maybe a weekend? I don't know. No? Okay, I think I'm going to have to go in there. I think that's the point of this thing. I think I'm going to have to sneak in there without him seeing me. All right, so I got my car all the way over there. So I'm going to have to sneak in here. Well, all the windows are barred, so I'm going to have to pick the lock. I am going to have to pick the lock, but how is he not going to see me? He's definitely going to see me when I get in. And where is the... Oh, there's the box. Okay, okay. So I have to go in. Now, <laughs> it looks like he's pooping still. I still can't get over that. It looks like he's sitting on the toilet. Anyway... I have to pick this lock. I have to go in there, grab the box, and then get out somehow. Oh, why does he have an exclamation mark over his head? All right, I'm going to try to pick this lock real quick. Then I'm going to wait for him to sit down. I think that might be a good time for me to sneak in. All right, here we go. Come on, boy. Okay, okay. I'm actually not bad at the lock picking. Who would have thought it? I don't know how to pick a lock in real life. But in this game, I guess it's probably just really easy. Okay, we're going to wait for him to sit down. No, 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 oh, oh. Oh, no, he called the cops on me. Why did he call the cops? Oh, no. How did he know I was here? Can I, like, hide somehow? Can I somehow hide and they won't find me? All right, we're going to sneak here. 
Hopefully they don't know I'm back here. I should have just ran in the house, grabbed the box, and go. I don't know why I didn't do that. I should have just done that. Do they know I'm here? Let's hope they don't check the backyard. That wouldn't be... <laughs> These would be the worst cops in the world if they don't check the backyard, but I'm hoping that they're they're incompetent cops. I'm sneaking around the outside. I'm hoping they don't see me. Uh, okay. I don't know if they're going to find me. I think I'm in a good spot right now, actually. Oh, I think the cops just left. Yay! So is that how it works in real life? If you, <laughs> if you call the cops because of a robbery, they come over, look around for like two minutes, and then they're like, sorry, he's gone. See you later. They'll just leave. All right, I'm fine with that. All right, so we're going to try to do this again. Hopefully this time we won't get caught. All right, I don't, have a, my, I don't have my crowbar out. There's no reason why anyone should know I'm up to no good. Uh, Do I have to pick the lock again? I think I do. Where's the guy? Where's the guy? Is the guy just gone? Did the guy just leave? Maybe he, maybe he left. Okay. I don't see him in here. I'm just going to try to steal the box and go. I'm going to try to steal the box and go. Maybe the guy went to the police station to give them a little report of what I look like. That's my guess, but that's okay because I had a mask on, right? Of course I had a mask on. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Hello, sir. How are you today? I'm having a good day. What about you? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> what a bad idea. What a stupid idea. All right, we're going to get in the car and get the heck out of here. I'm really curious to see what's in this box. I'm also curious what happened to the guy. What happened to the guy? I'm, I'm assuming he went back to the police station to kind of file a report, but I don't know. That's that's only using my imagination. So we're going to go back to the main area and find out what is in this box. What's in the box? All right, how did I do? I think I deserved at least an F. What? Oh, come on. I know I got the cops call on me, but I didn't get caught and I got the box. So I literally did everything Vinny told me to do. I had the cops called on me, but they didn't catch me. Oh, son of a nutcracker. I disagree. I disagree with that evaluation. Maybe I'm supposed to sell what's in that box? Maybe I'm supposed to go to the pawn shop? Actually, before I go to the pawn shop, let me check Black Bay. <laughs> Let's see if maybe I could sell it on Black Bay. Uh, Black Bay. It's nothing here. I'm just going to kind of scan through everything. I don't see anything. Oh, oh, box with shady content, $100. Wow. <laughs> Do I find out what's in the box? Oh, come on. I want to know what's in it. I don't want to just sell it. Maybe he'll tell us. Maybe he'll tell us. All right, he's giving, a, he's giving us a call. The Lombardis think their friend on Greenview needs a new window, but they think the one they got's fine. Go prove them wrong. Okay. So the Lombardis, if you missed part one, like I said, guys, check out part one. Um, I posted it in the top right corner of your screen in the beginning of the video. It should be a card there. Watch that before watching this. But the Lombardis were the guys that basically bailed us out of jail. So I'm coming straight from jail. I don't know what I did to get in jail, but probably robberies. And I'm not very good at robberies, so I probably got caught. All right. So the Lombardis basically want me to go to 112 Greenview, break their window, and leave. Just to give them a reason that they need a new window. Why? I don't know, but the Lombardis are a guy are a, are a group of people that I do not argue with. All right, well, we've been to 109, we've been to 110, 111. We haven't been to 112 yet. I actually don't even see it on the map. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay. So I'm going to have to do a whole loop around here. So I'm learning a little bit more of this community. So these are my three main areas. 109, love hitting that spot up. No one's there. 110, also love hitting that spot up. No one's there. And 111 was a little trickier. I made it... <laughs> I probably made it a little bit more difficult than I had to by getting caught, but that's okay. Whoa, this is a nice house. Can I get out? Is that 112? Let me close the door. I don't want to, I don't want anyone robbing my, my beautiful car. I mean, look at this. This thing's got to be worth a whole $9. Okay. Is this 112? No, that's 108. Where's 112? Oh, do I have to go up these stairs? I probably should have parked in a better spot. This is going to be hard to get away. Okay. Wow. So these are nicer houses. So clearly we're in the nicer area of the community now. Is this 112? This is 112. Ooh, they even have a basketball court. Nice. So how do I get in here? There's got to... Oh, okay. Uh, Can I use my crowbar maybe? I don't know what this is. What the heck is this? Can I hide in there? <laughs> oh, no, I don't like... I don't like the fact that there's a hiding spot because that makes me think I'm going to get chased at some point. But I guess it's good to know that that's there. All right, so all we have to do is break a window, right? 
Is that all we have to do? Just break any window? Or is it a specific window? I don't know. I'm gonna go around. Let's go back here, maybe. Ooh, I can pick this lock. Alright, cool. Uh, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Yeah, buddy! I don't like the- I don't like the music. It makes it sound like I'm getting caught. So which window do I have to break? Did it say? Break a window at 112, then hide or run away. Okay. So let's break a window and then we're gonna hide. So I'm actually gonna break a window that's closer to my hiding spot. I think that's smart. See, I'm getting better. I'm not a good criminal, but I'm getting better. Where's my hiding spot again? Is it around here? Uh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay. Oh. Hi, sir. Nope. Don't, bother, don't mind me. Even the cars are nicer in this area of town. All right, we're going to take out our crowbar. Just smash it. Okay. Oh, they have an alarm system. Oh, they have an alarm system. All right, let's hide. Let's hide. Okay, so the alarm system, I assume, is going to automatically call the cops. But I'm hiding in this dumpster. And, of course, these cops are so incompetent that they are not going to check the most likely hiding spot in this entire community, this sketchy dumpster. Maybe I should have just escaped. The cops are actually taking a while to get here this time. You can- Oh. I don't think that's the cop. I think that's just a random guy. But the cops are definitely coming. There they are. There the popo. Oh, they better not find me in here. They better not find me in here. Oh, he's right there. The cop is right outside. Don't open this. Nope. Oh, man. Oh, that was so much closer than I was expecting. This cop is so incompetent that he even came to the garbage disposal area and didn't open it up. He didn't even check. Whoa. Why are they driving in the grass? That seems unnecessary. Just get out of the car and walk. All right. I think they might be leaving. I think the cops might be leaving. There they go. Okay. So the cops are gone. I should be able to head out now. Now let me go back to my car and go back home. Hopefully the Lombardis will be happy. Oh, okay. Some lady holding it. Oh, what? Oh. Okay, I was holding my crowbar still. That was not a good idea. I was running, but I'm just gonna- Hello? I don't have my crowbar out anymore. Hi, ma'am. You should probably put a shirt on. It's a little cold right now. You should put a shirt on. It's not appropriate to wear stuff like that. Okay. I- You know what? I could just give my own opinions, but I- I can't make people do things. Alright, so now we're gonna try to escape. We're gonna try- Well, we're not even being chased, so I don't really think I have much of a sense of urgency. Oh! Repair costs one dollar, okay. Maybe, maybe instead of trying to escape fast, I should try to escape effectively without hitting trees. You know, that, that'll work. All right, what do I get? What do I get? Oh, I don't get, like, graded on this one? All right, we're gonna go back home. All right, so we bro- Oh, here we go, Vinny! You need to learn how to deal with standard locks. Okay. Story. Learn lock picking level two. Level up by stealing stuff. Okay. So I don't think I have. Let me go to my area. I still don't have enough um, skill points to be level two. But that's okay. I am going to end the video here. In the next video, we're going to learn how to, how to uh, I guess, pick a standard lock. And then we're going to keep growing more and more and start stealing bigger and bigger things. All right, guys, so that was Thief Simulator Part 2. Like I said a couple times, if you missed Part 1, go check it out. But this is a lot of fun. I am loving this game. I hope you guys are too, because I plan on making a couple more parts. In this part, we learned lock picking. We uh, broke a couple windows and plates. We stole some cash and sold it on Black Bay and at the pawn shop. We had a good time. Oh, and I forgot. We also stole some real sketchy box, which I still don't know what was in there. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any ideas for what was in that sketchy box that was worth $100. Anyway, guys, don't forget forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to hit that subscriber button if you're new to the frustrated gamer channel we have a new video every single day and we have live streams on the weekends guys thank you all so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and i am getting better and better at becoming a thief with every episode thank you all so much for watching once again and i will see all of you in the next video